Asheville leaders decide to take the state of North Carolina to court over its move to take the city's water system away. City council members voted unanimously in favor of a lawsuit to stop transfer to a regional authority. News 13's Frank Crocker joins us. Frank, what's the timetable for filing suit? Well, it has to happen sometime before next Wednesday. That is when House Bill 488 is set to go into effect, merging the city water system with the Metropolitan Sewerage District. Asheville council members attended a special meeting tonight, one set up to take them straight into closed session, which is standard procedure for any matter involving litigation. After consulting with the city attorney, a resolution was passed authorizing legal action. Possible default on city-issued bonds, overall financial stability, also health, sanitation, safety issues for water customers, some of the reasons officials say the suit must be filed. The immediate goal is a temporary restraining order. There's no way that we'll be able to turn over our system by May 15th, and so we're doing all that we can to make sure that date doesn't happen. And that will be a lawsuit? That will be a lawsuit. And that suit will challenge the validity of the House bill, which is on the governor's desk. If he takes no action, it becomes law. And the Republican-controlled legislature, well, has enough votes to override that veto anyway. So that makes this legal effort even more critical. We're told we will get details on Friday, and that is when the city has scheduled a news conference to talk about a special team being formed to fight for Asheville's water.